Conspiracy Theorist Paradox. The notion that, ironically, conspiracy theorists are often some of the most gullible retards who do not know what they're talking about in the freaking world. I could pick out all the low-hanging Illuminati fruit and do some triangles for you, but I want to talk about one that's much more um, relevant and important that I see every day online and it blows my mind. Net neutrality is the uh, grassroots movement from when everybody found out that Verizon and Comcast and Time Warner all wanted to come and fuck us straight up the ass and ruin the internet. They would be basically given unilateral control over websites and internet speed. So they could make certain websites go really, really fast. And certain websites go really, really, really slow. And it was whoever Comcast wanted, whoever Cox Cable wanted to go fast and slow. And before they had even managed to force through this legislation through our corrupt Congress, they were already extorting companies like Netflix into paying a, well, you use a lot of bandwidth, so pay us a lot of money. Just extortion. Extortion. The textbook definition. So at least some good guy, rich companies that are also somewhat corrupt in their own ways, but are at least smart enough to come out on the right side of history and realize that this was a ridiculously bad idea. And some of those companies had a lot of shareholders that also paid money into smaller companies and smaller websites that would have gotten completely ass-fucked because they wouldn't be able to pay their protection fees, their racket fees, to the big ISPs. And shortly after all this became very relevant in the public knowledge that websites and TV shows and news media was talking about this, you saw people immediately start calling net neutrality some sort of government overreach. That net neutrality was something that was designed to um, bring the entire internet under the government's control, and some of these people, for, foremost among them guys like Rush Limbaugh and Glenn Beck and Senator Ted I'm a Retard Cruz, were saying that protecting net neutrality would be doing exactly what the cable companies wanted to do by removing net neutrality. And they started pretending like net neutrality was an upcoming legislation and not a movement to keep the internet exactly the same as it is now. And tons and tons of gullible retards believed them. And talking about, oh, how there's 200 pages of unread documents not knowing that a lot of new legislation doesn't get released to the public or is released to Republic, the public in a redacted form until Congress has had a chance to look at it. This is normal operating procedure. But because a lot of people are ignorant of that, they're very eager to cry conspiracy. And it is a conspiracy. You know, a lot of these people will say that 9-11 was a false flag attack to... Um, start all those wars in the Middle East. Well, the wars in the Middle East were started dishonestly, but 9-11 was not a false flag attack. All you have to do is follow the money. Who paid the politicians? And when it comes to a war, you know, you got Lockheed Martin, Halliburton, fucking all these defense contractors getting no-bid contracts and making trillions, with a T and an R, trillions of dollars on these wars that are going nowhere and were for mostly nothing. And it has nothing to do with New World Order. It's just the money, Lebowski. Where is the money? It's that simple. And that these people want to reach for reptiles and aliens and shadow governments when the real evil has always been the desire of money, greed. And why would Rush Limbaugh and Ted Cruz tell you that net neutrality is some horrible, big liberal government overreach that's going to screw all, all our lives and, and put us in a frickin' FEMA camp or something? The money? Who's paying them? 
Who's paying Ted Cruz and Rush Limbaugh to lie to you? The ISPs follow the money, Lebowski. That's all there is to it. And these people who are convinced that Obama is the Muslim Kenyan Antichrist when he's basically just been George Bush 2.0 with some slight meager improvements, but otherwise a pretty much lame duck president. Although, I wouldn't completely blame it on him because we have some of the worst scumbag, do-nothing, obstructionist Republicans who will torpedo their own bills if Obama decides to go along with them and destroy their own policies like kicking and screaming children who, if they don't get their entire way 100%, won't go along with it. And if their entire way 100% is Obama's idea, they definitely won't go along with it. And everybody's just so eager to believe that. Out of racism, out of ignorance, out of bigotry, and out of stupidity and gullibility. Thanks for watching.